Well, new at 10, Houston taxpayers are on the hook for more money as the city fights a lawsuit related to the botched Harding Street drug raid. ABC 13 anchor Elisa Rivas has the update. It's been going on for years. Regina Nicholas, Dennis Huddle, and their dog, they were all shot dead by police inside their southeast Houston home five years ago this weekend. Today, City Council approved spending another $1.7 million to fight a lawsuit from their families. It brings the total legal bill so far to just shy of $3 million. An FBI investigation determined the lead narcotics officer on the case lied to obtain a no-knock warrant to carry out the raid. Gerald Goins has since been charged and is no longer with HPD, but the victim's families have been in a bitter legal battle with the police department and former chief Art Acevedo was reportedly scheduled to give a deposition in the lawsuit today. Houston continues to fight this lawsuit because the city attorney argues the city is not responsible for so-called bad police officers. This was a unique situation that happened here. It's the city's contention that this was an officer who was simply uh, lying and misleading. So the city went on to tout reforms made since the raid. The police chief and a district judge have to sign off on a no-knock warrant, and it can only be carried out by a specialized tactical team, not investigators on a case. That is all little comfort to the Nicholas and Tuttle families who vow to keep up the fight to hold those responsible for that day accountable.